Good morning and welcome to Lois Hook Pottery. Uh, today's video is a little bit different. Um, I've just got back from Crete um, to sort of give you a bit of a background, a bit of a rundown. Uh, as most of you know, I've been working in the reptile industry um, for nearly 30 years. But last year we have got a new project where we're building a website called gardenwildlife.com. And the aim of that website is to have lots of different companies working with us that can get their goods to you for looking after the birds and the bees outside, plants, everything. But one of the new acquisitions that I've just got is a company called the Terra Cotta Pot Company. And what's fantastic about that is that they are bringing over the creek, the Crete pots that are made in just one particular village. Um, and oh, they're amazing. I mean, they, they start small and they get to, well, four foot high and five foot high. You'll see in the video. So what I was is very lucky to be invited into the studio as uh, seeing a production studio where, you know, it's not the little workspace that I have here. It's actually multiple pots on the go. And I believe when I was there, there was actually four potters on holiday. So you'll see all that was being made at the moment in this video is by two potters alone. Um, absolutely incredible. Um, so I know it's very different, but I hope you enjoy it. It's a bit of a long video. You might want to jump forward and watch different bits, but I just wanted to video and um, just watch these people at work because it is just so interesting. Um, remember, if you like what I do, please subscribe. Please tick the box to say you like me and press that bell so you get some notifications. Um, as I said, a little bit more on it now. Um, I'm just getting ready to load up the kiln again with some more pieces. Um, so yeah, um, see you in a minute. So we found it. There it is. Look at all the pots outside drying. This is the first layer of the pot. How amazing is that? It's amazing. Look, so got all the tape, all these bits that turn, they've got all the pieces still turning so that they don't dry badly. Absolutely amazing. I've never seen so many pots in production. There is, I don't know, six guys there and Adonis, the guy who owns the pottery. Um, and look at all this work that's sitting here drying. Um, it is quite dry already actually so and then down further down if we if we scan down we've got all the pots uh, that are already made ready to be shipped out um, so let's go and uh, let's go and have a look yeah yeah so if you have a look in here we can see how many sections these are made in one two three and then the top section so that's amazing and then what they do you see these are put on over the section of the join usually so that it hides you know makes sure that the join is strong but the, when you watch them work everything with this, this is just like putting the thumb they'll have a strip of clay and then they'll just put it on and they'll be just putting it in on and it will just be so easy for them and then in here um, got all the bats these pots are amazing it's amazing to see it as a production because um, yeah, as I said, all the all the bottoms of the pots are still going round because I don't want them to distort. They must dry out quite quickly here. What are we about thirty two degrees at the moment? Um, let's go and have a look at the finished the finished work, and then we can get some photographs of pieces. Oh, is the kilns. wheels you see at these so they've all got to turn. so they bring the, the pieces look they've actually got some they've actually got some um, small tiles there but I think what happens is, is they'll wheel the pieces onto that they'll bake them on those then that actually all comes in like a, a, a I think that can bake well they can go in and out on both sides 
Let's go and have a look at some of these pots. So this is why, oh, there's a pug mill, big giant pug mill. Oh, this? Oh, yeah. There's a pug mill, well, bits of pug mill, but this, uh, this is... That is gas. That is gas, or oil, that might be oil. So these will all be made with a mould. These are all the feet that everything gets sat on. So there's even more down here. So here's your feet moulds. So look, there you are, Anthony. So the feet moulds all get pushed in. Yeah. And then they'll dry enough to drop out. And these are obviously, I mean, this is just, I don't know what, they're, they're, they must be turning on the other ones and then come and place them on these. So, you know, that, that's a lot of rooms of... You're, you're working lots of pots. Well, of you are, like because... It. Because even you know all of these are made in like again one, mm. two, three sections. It's a three Come section on. pot. This is still. And this, this turns on here. Yeah, I'm presuming. I'm presuming that. So it all runs on one motor. Do you know it might? It looks like it's almost air driven. Could be. Yeah. Because how could they? That They've would take a lot. There, because when. Um, the lips. I didn't record any of that bit. <laughs> I love it when I say something really good and I don't record it. Anyway, what I was going to say is when I was at the International Ceramic Festival at Aberystwyth, Adam Keeling, who um, threw a £120 pot in front of us in 45 minutes, um, he obviously couldn't take his time because he was trying to do it for a show, trying to do it to show us all. Um, but he was using a three horsepower motor. So it'll be interesting in a minute when we go back in to try and suss out what's um what they're using so have a look at some of the finished pots so i think the, the best thing we can do with these pots is have anthony standing by them so we get some ideas of sizes um these are all different and, no these are different so if you stand at this one this is a, the, the biggest one in this in this section and then they, they that's the same size then they're a bit smaller and you'll find that when i look in this is going to be a three-part pot and this will be a two-part pot. Though they're still doing these ones in two parts. Yes, they are. Even the little ones are doing in two parts. Oopsie. That's amazing. Oh, look, these are the ones I love. Look at these. Every piece individual. I mean, that's the point, isn't it? Every piece is... So how many parts are they making these in? One, two, three, four four one two three four five that's a five part pot it's amazing there's all the clay and these are all wrapped up ready to go either to us back in the uk or to wherever whoever else is having them these are nice a little stamp. yeah let's have a look at the stamp well, it's a double A for his name, Adonis, and te it's te it's it's Terra. No, it's Creta Cotta. Oh, look at them up there! Look at those ones; they're amazing. What I'll have to do is take some pictures for the website. That's like a beehive one. These. these are beautiful. I'd love to have one of these in my house. And come and stand by this one for me. So that's up to your chest bone, oh, isn't it? Yeah. They're amazing, aren't they? How strong they are. Oh, Anthony, look at these ones. There's even some with a, there's even a lid. Oh, and the rest. Well, they're on, they're on a, they're on a pallet. Yeah. It's amazing when you tap them. I just, they're delicate, they feel. What I can see straight away is they are very, very, they're, you yeah, know, they're being thrown very, finely yeah, you know yeah, because yeah. weight is important isn't it but that you know they're not wasting clay it's amazing 
Yeah, let's go and have a look. Well, these are nice, aren't they? Sorry, love. Yeah. Well, there looks like there's a number of different types of yeah. feet. Go with different pots. Yeah, no, they'll, they'll sit that way and the pot will sit on the top, yeah. I think. Yeah. It's tremendous, isn't it? Let's just have a look around here. It's absolutely wonderful. Some mar different markings on them. That'll be with a roller and, a, and probably a fork. Yeah. Should we go and have a look? There's another big one though here. Look at this one. You know, two of them on top of each other. Uh, just show me, Anthony. Ring like a bell. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is going to go through the pug mill. It's yeah. a powder at the moment, look. Yeah. It's a powder. And uh, of course, in its raw state, see I'm saying about the red clay, but in its raw state, of course, it is actually not. It's grey, isn't it? Yeah. So um, there, is a, there is a bit of a dilemma there. <laughs> Keep my mouth shut. It's not, about the, it's not about the terracotta. Though that's pretty baked, isn't it? Okay, let's go and have a look. We can wash ourselves, but it's cleaner. So these are powerful to throw on.
doing was this is a different shape. You can see that these ones are square and this one is uh, shaped out. And you can see it's shaping it out now. Amazing. Just uh, loading uh, these up. There's two um, that they're getting ready for the two kills. I think they've got one kill, but it might be double packed. And they're just getting these ready and stacked to go in using um, terracotta and um, wool.
sorry, you were saying there's three three wheels. There's that wheel. These wheels we yes. create the bigger ones. Yes. These wheels we create the mid size ones. Yes. From 30 centimeter until 70. Okay. To 70 centimeter. Oh, okay. Create the small pods. Oh, you have other wheels up there? Yes. Okay. So is this all electric? Is it all on yes, one big, yes, one big yes. system and you can just shift it? Yes. Do you know what horsepower? Sorry? Do you know what horsepower? Or is it, it just, it's on or off? Sorry, but I think it, I presume it, it, it is just either on or off at a yeah. certain speed. When it goes round, it's at the speed? same speed. The speed? Constant. Yes, yes, yes. We have to dry it a little yes, with we, this yes, side and so. continue with the other parts of the bottle. Yes, yes. When, um, when they mix the clay, they're using two different mix. Is it one? No, no. Just only. it's one material, not mixing both bags because they're different. No, no, it is the same clay. It's the same clay. Yeah, okay, okay. Kalimara, Vajeli? It is the same Yeah, so these are the same. Okay. Do you want some coffee, please? No. Yes, yes. It's uh, working for uh, 13 hours. Yes. 
And then you put well, 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 eighty degrees. And then what? A, when do you open the till? Do you know what temperature? The, the next day. Okay. Today and when you see the kiln is working. Yes, okay. I saw, I saw, uh, yes. It uh, will finish today in uh, eight o'clock in the evening. Yes. Uh, tomorrow afternoon. To, uh, tomorrow they will open the door after the meal, the the noon. Yes. You know, a little, a little in the yes, afternoon yes, they yes, yes, will yes. get out them. Yes. And the other day, Antonius will put them into the pool. Into the water. Yes. Does this? Uh, what does that do? Putting it, it in the it water makes when it's still warm. Stronger. If we don't. Slab roller, darling. Oh, is he making? He's making the uh, smaller version, right? Yeah. Something similar. Push them together. Straps. They're not going to take long time. We'll open this tomorrow and repair it a little bit. Yeah, trim it. Yes, yes. The details. Strong hands. This is the problem. Throw very it. And also very soft. Hands. Yeah. Uh, baby. Because of the clay, yeah. it's the better spot. <laughs> baby hands. Yeah, I thought working it out. Yeah. New machine to prepare the clay. Oh yeah. Steel is steel. Is this uh, second hand to you? Is this new to you? Yes, it is new. Oh, it's a big, look mixer. at it. It's big a big mixer. mixer. Yeah. Yes. It's got to have some blooming torque on that in, on that motor, hasn't it? Yeah. They have to fill this that with there. the yeah. clay and and then it comes oh, and shoots it in. Mm -hmm. uh, prepare it and so they're, they mi have they're mixing to it with use water. Their hands little, mm, little less, small, yes, yeah. less. Less, yes. And the screw yes. it, it is easier, yes. You still improve it. Yeah. We have to do it. Yeah. We have to help uh, our uh, staff. Yeah. And make yeah, the work the bo the bodies, easier. The bodies yes. uh, with this, it's a hard, it's a hard life. So they're well there. And then you can faster with the pot. Yes, production. of course. Yeah. yeah we win, uh, win, win time. Yeah. Uh, there, well, there is the got to be packed well, haven't they? Well, I th want to thank you for coming on this journey and watching uh, all these pots being thrown. It was absolutely brilliant to get there and it was absolutely wonderful to be invited. Um, they're just amazing. So, if you are interested in owning one of these amazing pieces of pottery, then uh, go and have a look on GardenWildLife.com. We've got quite a range for sale and actually a lot of these can be made into some amazing water features and they are there for sale as well so well, thank you for joining me